PQRT is a trapezium, so it means that this side is parallel to this side. PT and QR are parallel, but PT is three times the length of this, so the diagram's not to scale. It says if TP, vector TP, is minus 9, 3, and PQ is 3, 4, calculate the magnitude of PR, giving your answer in the form root of A, where A is an integer. Okay, so we've got this vector here. Now, I'm more interested in finding PT. Now, PT would be the opposite direction of this one, so that will be 9, 3. So PT is 9, 3. Now, this one here, this vector here, QR, is one third of this one because PT is 3 QR. This is three times the length of this one. So this would be one third of this, so this will be uh, 3, 1. And we are given that PQ is 3, 4. Now, we need to find the vector PR and then find its magnitude. Now, to find PR, we can do PQ plus QR. PQ is going to be 3, 4. And QR is going to be uh, 3, 1. One third of this one, so it's going to be 3, 1. 3 plus 3 makes 6, and 4 plus 1 makes 5. Now, what we need to do is find the magnitude of vector PR, so it's just an application of Pythagoras' theorem. So that's going to be, um, this is the uh, notation for finding magnitude, two straight lines. So that's going to be 6 squared plus 5 squared. So it's going to be the square root of 36 plus 25, which gives me the square root of 61, which is in the form of root A, where A is an integer. Make sure you give the answer in the right form. So this has been a video to, in order for you to find the magnitude of a vector, or calculate the vector, and then find its magnitude. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.